next statement that I'm going to make, uh, it will probably affect your life more, and you've never heard this before, that it will affect your life more than any other one thing uh, that you will hear me say, ever. Here goes. The elite are getting ready for the day that the revolution in the Middle East cuts off oil supply. They have a target date. I cannot give it to you. Uh, it, it's not too long off. They have a target date when the Middle East will be in such revolution. It started in Egypt. You remember I announced this on the Alex Jones Show. Alex, it's in your archives. I came on your show, and I said within four to five months' time, there's going to be a crisis in the Middle East. And you said, Lindsay, is it going to be with Iran? And I went back to my Mr. X, and I said, is it Iran? And he said, no. He said, this is a crisis of another sort. And four months later, it started exactly as the elite had told me. Egypt first, Libya, Yemen, mark my words, it's going to go right on into Jordan, Syria. The final country will be Saudi Arabia. Their plans have not changed in any matter. They know the approximate date that they're going to be able to do. But that's what, what Tucker to said two weeks ago. You said this in October. Tucker's sources said that they do plan on bringing the entire Middle East down, and they're going to blame the oil prices on that and, and, and then blame the Depression on that. But, but uh, what you're saying about them gauging going to 150, you know, first it's two bucks, they go to three, you get mad, they go back to 250. Then they go to four, then they go back to three. Then they go to five, they go back to three and a half. They go up to four, they go back to 350. They go up to five, they go back to four. They're always training us two steps forward, one step back, to where now we think 350's cheap. See how we've been conditioned. So that's what they're saying, is they're going to try to move a little bit slower, they backed off to $5 temporarily because of people like you, Alex, because people are waking up too fast and the elite are getting scared of the public waking up. Okay, put this date down. I know we've got a few more minutes here only, and i got to cover as much as I can. I've got another major briefing I want to give you here. Put this date down. May the 12th, 2011, there was a bill that went before the House of Representatives on that date. It was very quietly done. It never hit the national media. More than likely, you never heard about it. And this bill that went through the House of Representatives on that date, May the 12th, 2011, there was a vote of 243 to 179. And what were they voting on? They were voting on something that will startle you. They were voting to, well, first of all, they, they wanted to reverse President Obama's offshore moratorium act. Obama has given them some problems, by the way. I can't go into that now for lack of time. They take a whole program. Uh, let's go back. They reversed his opinion, and they said, watch it. Oh, please, you've got to note this. I've been waiting 35 years for this. I'm so excited, I don't know what to do. They have given permission for drilling where Gull Island, in my book, Energy Non-Crisis, uh, wrote about 35 years ago. They are opening up the Bristol Bay area of Alaska. They are opening up the Arctic Wildlife Refuge. I do not know whether this has been through the Senate or not. I can't find out. Nobody will tell me. I can't look it up anywhere. It did pass the House of Representatives. Now, why are they doing this? They're doing it because they know the approximate date that the Middle East, all of the royal family, every one of them, even the, even the royal family of Saudi Arabia is going to, going to be deposed. Mark my words. Oh, I'll give you another one, too. Just in passing quickly, and I can't elaborate on this right now, we are going to default on the national debt of the United States of America. I'm not talking about raising the debt limit, which you're hearing so much about. We are going to default on the national debt of 14 to $15 trillion. That's just in passing. They know the approximate time already. Okay, well, please give us, if you have it, uh, what the plan is, what the time frame is in the Middle East, and will they raise the debt limit, and then after default, or or uh, what are they looking at doing right now? I do not know whether they're going to raise the debt limit or not. It really doesn't matter with them because there's going to be a default on the national debt regardless. Now, they have a, a general idea of how much longer it's going to take them to depose every royal family and throw down every ruler in every country. So far, they've gotten Egypt, Libya, Yemen. They're going on from here to Jordan, Syria, and Saudi Arabia, Oman, and 
uh, and uh, the other countries will fall in this same time frame. And whenever they do, they must produce the Ameri- have the American oil field ready to produce by that time is the reason they pushed through. Oh, they, they paid off. I mean, literally, they paid congressmen off to vote on this thing on May the 12th, 2011, uh, and passed this bill through the House of Representatives. They've got to have permission to drill in these places to get the oil ready so that at the time the Middle East oil supply is cut off, the dollar is devastated, the national debt can't be paid any longer, and they've got to have a savior. They will step in and say, okay, we have found these monstrous new oil finds. There's only one problem. My book, The Energy Non-Crisis, told about it 35 years ago, and they've got a problem with that. You can read it for yourself if you'll get a copy of it from Amazon Kindle. And these things will be opened up at approximately the same time so that they can supply the oil for the United States of America. And they'll come in and say, oh, we will think and produce it for 60 cents a barrel and they're going to sell it to you for, you know what they're going to sell it to you for, 150 to $200 a barrel. Now, the Bakken Oil Reserve in North and South Dakota and Montana, if I wanted to make money these days, I would immediately get an oil rig if I was a young man and go up there and make a fortune. They are punching holes everywhere. It is light, sweet, crude. They must have it ready for the time that the Middle East, it it falls completely. The last one to fall is Saudi Arabia. When you see Saudi Arabia fall, folks, you you better put on your your listening ears because there's going to be major events take place from that point on. The Bakken Reserve, the reserve under Denver, Colorado, the North Slope of Alaska, they must have all of these ready, Alex, by the time that the Middle East falls.